Hey guys, welcome back to the house. This is going to be a really quick one. You guys, the view then hired and offered a contract to Alyssa Fair Griffin, and I just don't know how to feel about the situation. Okay. To give you guys a little bit of context to um, this entire thing, you guys know Megan McCain, um, uh, you know, she quit and whatnot. And she was like, I got to break my contract early. I don't like this. You know, she felt like everybody was leaking on her. She was being treated. She did not, I think she wrote a book called Bad Republican or something like that. And she detailed a lot of things about The View and what was going on behind the scenes. And it's always some drama. And it's always a lot of drama when it comes to the conservative women. Because it's a mostly liberal sort of show. You have Whoopi and then Sarah who are like, you know, in the middle kind of a little bit. They, I think they skew left. But they're, oh, look at, look at the, 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 win the window. Yeah, they skew left. Sunny skews left, Joy skews left, um, and then you have a conservative on the panel. So it's always like a, a, a harder time than not for the conservative. So Megan McCain was like, bye, bitches. So they have been in competition. So it's been Lindsey Granger and Alyssa Fair Griffin. Lindsey Granger, I think, hosts a show on a platform called, I want to say Revolt TV, but it's not Revolt. Mm-mm. She's on something, but she's like a streaming network, a streaming network that, you know, a lot of us don't get on, uh, where she, I think, does commentations. Uh, and then you have Alyssa Fair Griffin, who was like a communications director for Trump and Melania Trump and those girls. So it was between those two women. Now, mind you, I like both of them. And I've always said this, and I'm going to say it again. I have no issues with conservative people or Republicans. I have an issue with Trump supporters. And I have an issue with homophobia and racism. Different conversation for a different day. Like, whenever I speak about Trump, there's always a few people in my comments like, eh, there's nothing wrong with Trump. Like, why do you hate... Did you not see what happened? Where were you on January 6th? Anyways... So it looks like they chose Alyssa Fair Griffin. And I do feel a ways about the situation because even though I liked Alyssa, I felt like having a black conservative woman on the show would be something different. You guys have had umpteen white conservative women. Elizabeth Hasselbeck, Megan McCain, now Alyssa Fair Griffin. You guys had Jedediah. Um, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Having um someone like Lindsey Granger would be different. A black Republican, like I feel like that's something that I think more people should see. There's not a lot of black Republicans on TV as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, I thought that would have been different. And I think Lindsey Granger pushed back a little bit more. I think Alyssa Fair Griffin was a little bit too nice. Like she did a great job, but I felt like Lindsey pushed back a lot more and it created for more attention, therefore creating better television in my opinion. According to Variety, Alyssa Fair Griffin, the former Trump White House Director of Strategic Communications, is in final talks to join The View as the new conservative co-host of the daytime talk show Variety has learned. They go on to say, sources tell Variety that ABC executives have chosen Fair Griffin, 33, to join The View for its 26th season, which kicks off in the fall. She has sat at the Hot Topics table, the Hot Topics table regularly this season, auditioning for one of the most high profile jobs on TV. Megan McCain served in this chair previously. That is a terrible picture of her, God. Before that, Elizabeth Hasselbeck changed TV in 2003 as the first Republican arguing about the headlines in daytime TV. Variety goes on to say that two sources caution that a deal has not been closed yet, but says it's more than likely a matter of time. Shit, Fair Griffin officially get the gig. The announcement will probably arrive in coming weeks, according to a person familiar with the show. All right. So I find that to be interesting. I'm sad. Honestly, what I was hoping would happen is that they would hire both of them. Like they could do, you know, every other day or they could do every other week because I think Alyssa's great. And I also think Lindsay's great. I don't know. I don't want them to get rid of Lindsay. Um, Lindsay had such good banter with Joy and they would joke about living in sin and you know, Lindsay had that really good moment with Sonny where she was like, girl, you don't know yourself. Your life is an oxymoron. And Sonny was like, no, your life is an oxy. Like, it was so good. She gave us moments. Alyssa Fair Griffin has not given us moments like that. I like her, too. What I like about Alyssa is that even though she used to work for Trump, she's not a Trumpette. Like, she's not delusional. What I liked about Lindsay is that she just gave us just straight out great TV. So 
I don't know. Something about this. I'm happy about it, but then I'm just disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I want to see more of Lindsay. So I'm going to have to follow her on social media because I can't believe I've actually found a Republican conservative commentator that I actually schlick kind of like. I'm shocked. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.